Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. Very quickly, I want to give you guys a quick update. We have merch now for sale. So you guys can definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my merch store. As you guys can see back here in the background, that is, um, I forget what it's called. Uh, like, you know, backdrop. Um, but that you can also hang in your wall. Um, we have sweaters, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, um, beautiful muscle shirts for this crazy hot as weather. Um, so definitely check that out. So anyways, let's get right into your reading. Gemini, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of August, 2018. In regards to your communication, how you'll be communicating with uh, people for the month of August, you have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight, Knight of Cups is definitely a lot of, you know, loving type of energy. This is um, energy of... Um, communicating with people that are only genuine or true to you. I feel that you guys may be very reserved lately in regards to your communication and only reaching out to those you trust, um, which is not a bad thing. I feel that sometimes we kind of have to go through that shift. Um, with the Knight of Cups, this could also represent flirting with the idea of communicating with someone from the past. Um, my suggestion is if you are in a long-term committed relationship, do not even test those waters. <laughs> so what I mean by that is tem temptation is a motherfucker. Okay, we already know that. So my suggestion, stay away from temptation. Stay away from that which comes easy uh, because it usually crashes and burns very quickly. Only that which is valuable and long lasting will not be so easy. So again, stay the course, Gemini. Now, in regards to your pentacles, the earth, materialization and finances, you have the, the eight of swords. So the eight of swords becomes a mental type of energy. So what do I mean by that? I do not see any blockages in regards to your finances, Gemini. What I do see is mental blockages. So what I mean by that is stop from looking towards the sides stop looking towards what other people are doing focus on you but i don't mean this in the sense of like just be your like just be to what you're doing no that's actually the opposite of what i'm saying sometimes we focus so much in manifesting something that we want so bad that we live eat and breathe that right but what you're doing is instead of surrendering to the process, you're focusing on the control aspect of what you're trying to manifest. So what I mean by that is when you grip something so tightly and you're like obsessing over it, it's not a good thing because what you're doing is you're not, a, energy has to flow freely. There cannot be any limitations. There cannot be any um, taboo connected to that. So what I mean by that is, if you want success and growth, but there's something about you that you still carry a taboo, as an example, me, myself, right? I'm Mexican, Mexican descent. And a lot of the times when we're children, we're told money doesn't grow on trees. So then we grow up thinking money must only mean that it can only come to me if I work really, really hard towards something, which is a blessing to have in my personal opinion but what i mean by that is that sometimes we grow up thinking that we have to sacrifice certain things to be able to have other things and that's not necessarily true so the only person that is limiting you and keeping yourself from growth is yourself so acknowledging that and understanding what are the fears that i have in regards to finances when you have do you do you limit yourself to spending? Do you try to like, um, do you try to hold to that money very tightly? Because then what you're doing is you're fearing the freedom of the energy of money. So what that means is that you will find yourself in situations where you feel like money, the way you get it in, it goes out. Um, so again, it's understanding and acknowledging the fears that you have in regards to finances, the fears that you have in regards to uh, self-limitations. What is it that you limit yourself to? Do you have this stigma that you were taught at a very young age and you still carry that with you? Do you 
believe it true to the core of you. And if the answer is no, then you need to release that. Let go of that fear and open your awareness, open your mind to newer, better possibilities, grander possibilities that will become easier to manifest the moment you're able to release control. So I feel that you're self-sabotaging yourself by, by keeping things very close to you. And instead of seeing the manifestations of it, you're looking, you're experiencing the lack of, and the lack of has a lot to do with, again, the fears that are limiting you from self-growth and achievement. I hope that connects. I hope that makes sense. Um, but that's the message that's coming through. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of August, you have the star card. So the star card, I'm not sure if you can see it. So the star card, um, what it represents is that, again, I feel that spirituality is becoming very important in your life. But at the same time, is, is your beliefs, is your belief system keeping you from the potential that you can actually have or tap into or experience or expand? Is it keeping you? Is it limiting you? towards certain things in your life that perhaps you feel like if I want this, it, it must be a bad thing. Um, as an example, if I want, you know, the perfect house, the perfect marriage, the perfect kids, uh, the perfect finances, am I asking too much? Um, and then there's a feeling of like guilt, like maybe I shouldn't feel this way. Maybe I shouldn't desire this, maybe this, maybe that. And what spirit is telling you is that as the challenge, the star card in itself is getting all your answers, getting all the manifestations of what you've been asking for. But the deeper question here is, are your belief system helping you? Are they helping you be a better you, a better version of yourself? Or is it keeping you from greatness? Is it keeping you from expansion? Is it keeping you from experiencing life very differently? And more than anything, is your faith strong? It's one thing for me to say every single day, I want healing. I want abundance. And it's a completely different thing. Am I doing everything I possibly can to bust my ass to get that, to make that happen? Am I doing everything I possibly can to acknowledge the fears, acknowledge the anger, acknowledge um you know, the grudges that I've been holding on towards other people, am I acknowledging that and then letting it go, surrendering to it so then I can receive healing? So it's almost like everything you've been asking for is starting to align, but do not self-sabotage yourself, Gemini, from experiencing this. Open yourself up, open to the possibilities and have faith. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you have the not sorry, the king of wands. So the king of wands, again, could represent a fire sign. It could be um, a Sagittarius, a Leo or Aries. Sorry, a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries. Um, and this could be the person that you're with. This could be a person of interest or this could be uh, your partner, um, your husband or your wife. And as a for emotions in regards to the king of wands if this is if this is your partner there is almost like a feeling of if they've been a little bit more jealous a little bit more possessive um know and understand that perhaps it has a lot to do with self-confidence issues that they're currently going through now this is a general reading this could represent you as well um so again be loving be patient be understanding Ignite that passion within you guys. Remember the times, you know, when you guys first started dating to keep the relationship going and to keep it ignited and to keep it passionate. And uh, again, you'll start to experience this great energy charging you for the month of August and almost things falling into place the way you've been hoping or praying for. All of this starts to manifest for you guys for the month of August. But it's very important for you guys to try the best you can to stop limiting or self-sabotaging yourself, Gemini. Now, finally, you have the King of Pentacles here as a spirit's advice. So the spirit's advice is, again, in regards to materialization and finances, you'll be able to find the stability that you've been looking for the moment you actually give 100% 
the moment you're willing to not sacrifice your time and your effort, um, removing that from like, you know, your, your marriage or your partner, but more with understanding that 30 minutes of putting effort towards something that you're very, very passionate about surpasses working eight long hours where you're just dreading to be there um, because you're emotionally invested in what you're doing when you're passionate about something. So again, know and understand that. Also, for some of you guys, there's a lot of healing energy in regards to a father figure or in regards to a person that was that of a father figure. Um, a lot of things that were held from the past or that you were holding on to or that your part, uh, sorry, your father um, was holding on to. Maybe you guys didn't see eye to eye at a younger child, you know, when you were a child. Um, there was a lot of grudges holding on or they just didn't show you love, etc. I feel that all of this starts to heal and starts to uh, bring the balance in your life. For some of you guys, if you in fact didn't have a father figure or your father was not around, um, I feel that there is a lot of healing energy that is going to happen for the month of August through your kids. So what I mean by that is if you grew up in a household where your father was not around or was not very prominent in your life, you felt the lack of and perhaps some type of resentment. I feel that now as a grown person, as an adult, you're going to start to experience a lot of beautiful emotions and experiences um, through your children that are going to teach you to see things on a different perspective than what you've seen up until now. And that's going to bring a lot of healing energy to you guys as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other